Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? Alright, today's video we are actually at my plumbing shop because I want to test out the DeWalt 1800 power station. Um, as you know, I purchased the station so that we could power our new truck. Um, there was a little discrepancy at first on one of my videos about me buying it, but after watching some of the tutorials on, the, on YouTube and seeing what it does and the price that Home Depot was selling it at, I decided to purchase one. The unit that I purchased comes with the four batteries. It comes with the, uh, the, the 20 volt uh, platform, a 160 volt max, and three, which is a 6.0 and three 20 volt max, which are their 5.0. Now the unit has been charged and I've already tried the unit on the wall, Michael, pan over to the, on the Waltz um, 110 volt table saw and we did two rip cuts with it and it worked great. That's why the unit is full of sawdust. Now I'm gonna try it on something that most likely will draw the most power besides maybe like a welder for me to operate. And Michael, pan down to the machine. I'm gonna be threading a piece of two inch black iron pipe. I'm gonna cut it and thread it using the power station. Now, I have not tried it. We are gonna do it live right here. I have not tried it. I have not uh, cut or thread anything. So we're gonna make our first cut and we're gonna make a thread and we're gonna see how it works. Okay, basically the unit, you would put the four batteries into the unit, then plug your short cord into it, and then the lights will light up and proceed to charge the, this, the, the, the batteries. So this is a charging station. It takes a little over an hour and a half for the 60 volt and about an hour for the 20 volt. When you're done, you unplug it. It cannot be operated with the uh, shoreline plugged in. So you, it's not like you're draining power from that, draining in the batteries and powering the tool. It has to be unplugged. First thing you do is you turn it on, you'll get the long beep. Now, as you can see, I'm plugging, show the cord, Michael. I'm plugging the machine into the power in station. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little off this pipe, which really doesn't take a lot. I'm already excited. There's the thread. Guys, right there, that is probably the most power that that power station will put out. Two inch thread, because as the thread gets deeper, more and more power is needed for the machine to turn the pipe to make the threads. So it's using almost its full 15 amps. The only other thing most likely would be a 110 volt um, larger welder, which uses 15 amps throughout the whole cycle of welding. But right here, I, I am beyond excited. All right, now let's take a look at the batteries. Three bars, three bars, three bars, three bars. That's two rip cuts on a 36 inch piece of three quarter plywood and that cut and thread. I most likely could do an entire gas job 
with that power unit without 110 volts. That, my friends, is power. Shut it off, another long beep, red light goes out, unplug your tool. Now, if you want to, the thing trickle charges, you can take the shoreline, you can plug it in, and now refresh your batteries on, this, on the unit. Okay, All right, let me just show you a new toy that I've picked up yesterday. Milwaukee's air snake. Basically what this thing does is it shoots a plug of air down the drain. You set the pressure from the back, you push this button and the trigger, wait a couple of seconds, release the trigger, it builds up pressure. I have it at 10 pounds. Shuts off. Take one of these supplied adapters, just say we got a stoppage at a shower, put it into the chock, put it into the drain, and push the trigger. That shoots a plug of air down to release, kind of like a hair stoppage. It's a, it's, where it's a 12 volt platform. Okay, YouTube. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I hit over 2,000 subscribes. I'm at like 2250. Um, thank you very much for all the subscribes. Uh, it's really making me want to do more and more content. All right, if you want a Mike's Woodshop sticker, my email will be below. And uh, send me your contact info, and I'll send you out a sticker. And I'll provide all of the model numbers, the links, uh, and the pricing um, in the descriptions below. Okay, YouTube, you all have a good and safe week, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.